Hey, good morning, y'all. Hey, good news, Jesus is Lord. I am so glad that he is Lord. Thank God the word works, but you have to believe it. Read it and believe it. Do your best to understand it. Last couple of days, I've been talking to you about God's good, only good. In James chapter 3, it says that <clears throat> let no man say. Now, if it says let no man say, that means television preacher. That means pastor of the local church. It says let no man say when he's tempted that he's tempted by God. Because God cannot be tempted with evil because there's no evil in him. So the word tempted there, somebody said, well, you know what? No, tried. God doesn't try you. Satan comes immediately to steal the word and to try to get you to back off of the word. And it's not that he dislikes you. He just don't want the word to produce in your life. So don't say God did it because God don't have no evil to do it with. In fact, <clears throat> I'm going to get my Bible out here and uh, turn over to this verse. Not only did God not send it, he sends with it the way of escape. 2 Corinthians 10, 13. I believe it's 2 Corinthians 10, 13. Um, no, 1 Corinthians 10, 13. There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. Watch this. I'm reading right out of my Bible, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. But God is faithful. Didn't say the temptation's faithful. Come on, Frank, preach. Didn't say that the devil was faithful to tempt you. It says God is faithful. The devil, he's always a liar. He's always a thief. He's always a crook. And when he comes at you to steal the word, and this is what the devil comes to do, steal, kill, and destroy, then he's not the faithful one. God's the faithful one. So it says, there hath no temptation taken you, but such is common. It, the devil no longer has a supernatural anointing. He lost his anointing when he fell from heaven. So the devil doesn't have anything supernatural he can do. In fact, the only power that the devil has is what he steals from you because you are the one with authority in your life and on this earth. So see, what you're looking at here, uh, you know, with my uh, six foot two, uh, 220 pound, blue eyed, white hair, whatever, that's my earth suit. I got to have one of these. Without this, I can't live on this earth. Well, I don't have to let it run me out. I can just lay it down and check out. But I'm the one that has authority over my body. It's not what I eat that's going to make me good or bad. I'm the one that has authority over my body. Now watch. I'm going to go back and finish this. There hath no temptation taken you, but such, but such is common to man. But God is faithful. Oh, hallelujah. Who will not allow you to be tempted above that which you're able? <laughs> Glory to God. Oh, uh, well, well, I know King James' words suffer. Which will not suffer you to be tempted above that which you're able. God's faithful. Now watch. The faithfulness of God is so good that he won't even allow the devil or the natural circumstances or anything else tempt you, bug you above that which you are able. In other words, you ought to be able to, to, to stand it or maybe the better word would be withstand it. But watch this. I want to read this. But God is faithful. <clears throat> who will not suffer you to be tempted above that that you are able, but will with the temptation also, <laughs> with the temptation also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it, what the King James says. But you look that up in the original Greek, what it says, that he's faithful, he will not allow you to be tempted above that which you're able, and then he will also make with the temptation, you're under a trial, you're having some difficulties. Maybe your body's not feeling just right. Maybe uh, you and your spouse has been fighting and fussing. I don't know. Whatever the problem is. But he will also, because he's faithful, he will not allow that thing to get the best of you. He's a good God. He's got you on his mind. And watch this. But he will, at the same time that the temptation comes, make a way of escape. Let me read that. But will, with the temptation, also make a way to escape that ye may be able to escape it. The word bear it doesn't mean, oh, just bear down under this thing, and dear God, God's grace is going to have, you know, he won't let me have to, too much to put up with. He knows how much I can bear, and he's going to let me just have it up to the very end. That's not in the Bible at all. 
What it's saying here is God's faithful. The temptation's not faithful. The devil's not faithful. But God is faithful, who will with the temptation, which he did not send, it came from the enemy, which he didn't send, but he will also with that temptation right there make the way of escape. The problem is some people don't take the way out. I mean, you know, um, driving down the highway. I was driving down the road the other day, uh, you know, going someplace I don't remember, and there's a state trooper pulled up behind me. You know, I didn't go, <gasps> because I was obeying the law. I'm not saying I always do, but I'm, you know, it didn't bother me. I wasn't the least bit scared uh, because I was doing the speed limit, maybe one or two miles an hour over, and I didn't know what he wanted, but he came on around and went on down the road. It didn't bother me because I wasn't breaking the law. There's a way of escape out there on the highway. Obey the speed limit. Are you with me on that? So here's the thing I want you to get on this. Every time the devil comes along and tries to bring some kind of a temptation your way, then God is faithful who will at the same time give you the way to get out of it, but all you got to do is do what God tells you to do and don't, you know, roll over and play dead and act like you didn't have anything to do with it. The devil can't make you do anything. Every temptation that comes to you, he can tempt you with it, but you have to fall for it. Well, I got to go. God didn't send it. There's no bad stuff in him. He's not trying you. The devil's the one that's trying you, but every time there's a trial or a temptation that comes, thank God, God is faithful who will at the same moment give you a way of escape, and you don't have to have it. Hey, I got to go, saints. Have a great day. And remember, God's got you on his mind. He wants you to be totally delivered. So have a good day remembering that Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.